Hi there, this is Eric Matisoff with Adobe and I'm excited to walk you through another feature that is getting launched with our July 2017 release. And as you can see, um, I've got a workspace pulled up here and the name of the feature that I'll be walking th you through is our rich text editing capabilities. Now we've added, um, and we've actually had this for quite a while, we've had the ability to drag in a text visualization um, directly into your workspace. And it's available right here on the left within visualizations, just along with all your other standard charts and graphs and all sorts of other fun things that you're able to pull into analysis workspace. Now, the way that we've seen our customers working within text boxes is to do things just like I have listed on the right here. So maybe someone is doing some analysis, recognizes that there's a need to write down some insights and say, the homepage saw a significant dip in page views, an increase in content velocity downstream. Ben, please dig into these changes to identify the cause. Now, this is quite useful that it allows for some communication within the tool. But what we've just added or what we're adding in the, our July release is the ability to also apply some rich text editing to it. So if we need to, for example, we can focus on the homepage saw a specific dip, a significant dip in page views. Maybe we're going to change that into our heading. And for example, we also have the ability to then say, you know, we're going to highlight the name Ben and we're going to make that bold and underlined. We also have the ability, of course, to use um, keyboard shortcuts. So I can do a Command B or a Control B, uh, depending on, um, you know, whether I'm on Mac or a PC. And so that'll work for bold and italicize and align, etc. <clears throat> we also have the ability to change font colors. So if I need to, I want to switch over to red, um, just to make that a little bit more clear for Ben to, to dig into those um, issues and try to help identify the cause. We can hit the check mark and now we've got a slightly more attractive um, and more stylized view of our insights. Below that, we've got another way that we've seen customers using text boxes, which, which is just simply as a reminder. For example, here we've got a reminder which says here are the URLs that drive these pages. We've got home, women, men, and kids. And then we've got home, men, women, and kids. And so what we're able to do now in Analysis Workspace is take that URL and I can cut it and use it actually as a link. So I can paste it here, hit save, and do the same thing for the next category page, etc. And once I'm done, then we can actually confirm that, that these actually work. So I can click home and I'll say, you're about to be directed to a website out of your domain. Are you sure you want to continue? You can click OK. And that'll pull up in a different tab, that same URL we're looking at. So the one that I copied and pasted here is my homepage. If I want to double check the men category page as well, we can click men and click OK. And it'll bring us on over to the men page just as we expected. Now, something else that we're gonna be walking through in a different video is one final um, way that we've seen customers start to leverage text boxes within um, analysis workspace. And that is for building somewhat of a table of contents where you can identify, you know, there's, there's page analysis at the top and, um, you know, maybe key category pages below and to use a, a text box in order to help identify that. Well, in our next video, we'll actually be walking you through how you can even more powerfully use the linkage capabilities that are now in rich text to drive those tables of contents and more. Happy editing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.